Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be a vlog, finally, after a few weeks of not doing any vlogging. Uh, I thought I would do a weekly vlog, and we are going to Portsea today, um, south of Melbourne. And we actually have some vouchers from Red Balloon uh, from Christmas that we haven't used yet because we've just been working so much and yeah, so we decided to use them and we've purchased a bike hire thing for the whole day. So um, we're going to be doing that first and then also included is uh, a hot springs uh, session, I guess. So we get to go to the hot springs there as well afterwards. So it should be really exciting. I've been dying to get out of the house lately because I feel like I've just been to work and then back home and then work again and then back home. And I feel like there's just been no in between. So it's going to be really nice to just get out of the city for the day and actually have a little bit of fun. <laughs> that would be great. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for today. I'm going to be taking some photos as well. Um, throughout the day and we'll see what we come up with but yeah hopefully it's a really good day the weather is awesome look at this blue sky it's amazing not a cloud we've had such good weather here lately in melbourne so for breakfast we got two donuts and two croissants Excited to go to Korea and Japan. Very excited. Only two weeks and six more days to go. <laughs> Been counting it down every single day. You've had like that countdown on your phone for like three months. <laughs> and I look at it every, like seven times a day at least. <laughs> So we've just arrived in Portsea, I think it's called, and we have just picked up our bikes, so they're just here, and um, we've kind of noticed that the, um, the tread on the bikes is probably not that great, so as we can see here, yeah, as you can see, it's like really smooth, so I'm just going to have to not brake too much, I guess. So the weather's really beautiful down this way and um, it's really pleasant. It's like 24, 25 degrees today or something. So I'm pretty excited to go for a bit of a bike ride because I haven't been on a bike ride in a really long time. And it's going to be really nice to go to the springs afterwards too and check that out because I've heard from a lot of people that it's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, and the, like the beach looks amazing today and the water just looks so blue. So I'm really hoping we get to go for a swim or something, but I think we'll do the bike ride first and see how we go with that. So you've just gotten to the National Park and just entered and the view already is like amazing. So um, I can tell it's going to be a really good day for a bike ride. Um, but I'll show you guys some of the view at the moment. So it's really nice. It's so quiet out here too. This is a view of Port Phillip Bay. Dan trying to get the best photography shot. It's so green around here too. There's like a lot of little farmhouses. Such a nice place for a ride. I always do this. I always forget to fill up my water bottle until like I'm halfway through, I don't know, like a walk or like exercise or a ride in for instance today and I've literally got no water left so uh, I think we're going to have to find somewhere where we can fill up our water bottles and I'm like sweating so much already. Um, riding a bike is actually so much harder than what I remember. Um, doing it as a child but um, it's funny like it's still kind of an easy thing to pick up again like I know that's like that funny saying like it's always just like riding a bike or learning to ride a bike you never really forget how to do it but <laughs> even today I felt like a little bit wobbly just like getting on for the first time in like 10 years it was just like uh, uh, like a split second of how do I do this again <laughs> I 
we just right up this hill here and it doesn't look that steep but it was really steep and I'm like dying now and um, I just gotta say like I go on the bike at the gym all the time and that doesn't really compare to actually being on a real bike especially when you're going up them hills oh my god what a workout are you tired I'm all right <laughs> not too bad going. Oh, maybe it's just me that's super unfit <laughs> so here we are at Cheviot? Cheviot? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, Cheviot Hill and or Chev Chevoy? I don't know. <laughs> I really can't pronounce it. Um, and this is kind of like right at the tip of the peninsula. So you can kind of see the view behind me. It's really beautiful. Um, just casually walking past signs like this though. So like, yeah, that's, that's not worrying at all. Such a great view. This is creepy. It's like an old World War II tunnel. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That is so creepy. It's like they're shining. Like pitch black in there. Awesome view though. Wow. That's amazing. This is pretty interesting. I've never actually been up here before. Photographer life. We still haven't actually finished walking around uh, the National Park here. We've still got a little bit to do. Um, we'll probably go over to the other side and maybe bike around there. I think there's another really, really big hill that we have to bike up, so I'm kind of not looking forward to that. Um, but at least it's a good workout today and I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, we are going to be heading off to the hot springs a little bit later on which is probably not the best option today since we're already like pretty gross and sweaty. Um, but it's gonna be good to experience it anyway because like I said, I've heard a lot of people that have been there and they've said that it's really, really good. So it'll be really good to do that today. I'm kind of feeling like a smoothie now or something. Though. So maybe we might go get a drink soon because it's all thirsty. So for those of you that aren't Australian and you may not know, um, this memorial is uh, dedicated to Harold Holt who was an Australian Prime Minister in the 60s and he came swimming to this beach uh, in rough waters and he actually drowned and they never found his body so this particular place is, is dedicated in memory of him you, 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 see you on the other side we made it we are back in the car and we are alive <laughs> um i'm pretty tired uh, but it was a really really good workout and it was a really good day because it sort of got us to um do a little bit more exercise I guess instead of just driving around and it was nice to kind of see some of the other sites we didn't get to see last time that we came here because um, we did drive last time um, but yeah it was really nice to, to go off on the bikes today and I'm hoping that the hot springs is going to be really relaxing however we are so hot right now so I think we're just going to maybe go get a drink or something that'll be really nice just to cool down before we get in the hot springs because I think it'll just be like way too much at the moment um but yeah it's been a really good day so far and i've been really happy with our choice of voucher because originally we weren't really sure what to do for red balloon because we received a couple of vouchers from my parents for christmas and 
we kind of asked for them actually because they were like, what do you want for Christmas? And we were like, we don't really want anything. And they were like, no, we have to get you something. So we're kind of like, well, we like to kind of do like experiences more than anything else, I guess. So we were like, just get us a red balloon voucher and we'll choose what we want to do, I guess. And um, we weren't really sure what to do at first because there's so much stuff on there to do, by the way. Like, it's a really cool site. But um, we ended up just choosing this because it was just a nice day outside. We've been so stuck in the city for, like, the last few months and haven't really ventured too far out. So I think that was a really good choice for us just to get out for the day and actually do some relaxing and well actually we didn't really relax today but like we got to get some fresh air which was nice and we got to go out in nature which was very good how did you enjoy your day it was a lot of fun um really hot and sweaty <laughs> my legs killing but it was worth it i definitely do it again yeah same it was great to uh, like you said to get out of the city and see some nature and get some fresh air Yes. So sick of looking at concrete buildings and cars and traffic and all that sort of Gets stuff like in the that city. Sometimes. Check how cute this sign is. It's so pretty. We're just walking around in Sorrento at the moment and going down the main street and there's so many beautiful little stores. Um, we're trying to find food though and everything looks to be sort of shut. We just got smoothies from Mubble, Mubble. I think it's called, and um, they're really good. They're really, really thick, and I think I got like a tropical mango one, and Dan got a raspberry, banana, what's that one? That is fun. It's got, I don't know, raspberry, banana, and something, and something else, something they're else. They're really good. <laughs> and um, I've got a peanut allergy, so it's like always a bit annoying when I go to places and like I see peanuts on the menu and then it's kind of like they can't guarantee whether um, you know I'm gonna have a reaction or not because it's made on the same equipment as everything else and the guy was nice enough to like sterilize the jug and everything because it was a peanut butter smoothie on the menu too so yeah which is nice because not many people really go to the to the effort of doing that so I was pretty impressed by that but um you know definitely recommend Mubble if you're ever in Sorrento just gotten out of the hot springs and you might have seen some of Dan's footage before because I couldn't take my cameras in there because they're not really waterproof um, so he filmed on his GoPro uh, and yeah they were really beautiful they're really lovely um, nicely set out as well um, great views from the the top pools my only sort of issue with it was that they were really crowded um, and a lot of the pools were really small so it was sort of difficult to find your own space in there and like it's what time is it now it's like probably five o'clock 5 p.m. it's like it's getting dark getting pretty dark and um, 6 30 oh it's even later than what I thought um, so yeah it's getting kind of like a little bit later a little bit darker and there were still heaps of people in there and a lot of kids because it's school holidays as well so probably if I came back it would have to be maybe out of school holidays and um, definitely at a quieter time because it, it was very hard to sort of relax in there um, so it wasn't really the most relaxing end of the day that we kind of hoped for it to be but it was still good to do it and um, to see it because it, it is quite beautiful and I definitely recommend it just probably at a quieter time I guess um, but yeah, I think now we're going to hopefully get some dinner. I'm really hoping because I'm starving. Yes? Yay. Um, I'm hoping for Vietnamese, but I'm not really sure where we're gonna stop and what's gonna be available, so we'll see. Hey guys, so we're back at home now and we just got Lord of the Fries for dinner. And so we're going to have dinner now and it's been a really long day, so I'm very tired and so is Dan back there. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to do more of these vlogs. Let me know if you liked it. I'm definitely planning on vlogging when I go overseas in a couple of weeks. Um, so hopefully they turn out really well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog and I will see you next time. Bye!